Good evening, my name is the Fat on Skull 2 for EU. Standard rules apply, I'm not here to sound my voice. Please go to the main menu, find the mute button, and just mute me in there. That will shut me up real quick. Now it's down 2 for one of the earliest game maps in the game. Also, to be fair, it was a uh, replication of one of the early T4 classic maps. You know, that's where it comes from. Now, in any case, let's look at the team see what's going on. Well, first off, in, from the team list, we can see that Red is severely handicapped and they have not enough teammates. At some point, a scramble rule will come in and should sort that out, hopefully. But for the time being, though, it looks like Blue are storming on the head. I say storming, but I yeah, don't know. It's yeah, I can't tell with two forts sometimes, the, the pace of the game seems a little pedestrian at times. Now, in any case, both teams. Oh, I think Blue may have the nose in this. And I think, yeah, they've got that. grabbed Intel. Well, they stopped the Intel from being capped, and that's nicely spinning away. Now, the peculiarity of 2 is, to be fair, it's a really hard game to play. Uh, some have said it's the worst map in TF2. I personally agree with them. The problem is that the capture points are very far apart and in very narrow spaces. It makes it a very difficult game to actually score. Yeah, I think Blue have the advantage at the moment. have got the cap and they're actually defending quite nicely. Unlucky there, Glaco. Tried to take off the take on two pirates at the same time. Didn't really manage to sort that out. Chaos Theory, gonna cap that away. Nice one point for Blue Team there. Now, Blue Intel though is in a precarious place. Uh, Blue Team can easily defend that, but if they get caught unawares, that will be problematic. Oh, nice bit of a um, crick cable work there. So very, very dangerous. Now, for the time being, the only guy I'm seeing here is one scout trying to get No Mercy Killer. Having to really fight for the entire blue team to get that intel. He's really trying, to be fair. Now, that's the problem. I mean, he's not really supported. He's got nobody with him. Blue team is actually organising quite well. They've got all their guys on the intel. And I think they may have scouting party trying to get the other one. For the time being, scores are you know relatively low. Nobody's near two or three yet, so that's the thing. It's pretty much an easy game for me. As soon as one team gets two, that's it. The other team's then forced to go on the defensive. And one second, please. And muted. Uh, please, if you want to shut me up, there is a function to do that. Uh, it's in the main menu. It has an ear with an X through it, which allows you to turn off anybody on the server. Now, in any case, looks like Blue are scoring for that second. Uh, Vet25, trying to break into the base by himself, but not enough. Again, Red trying to like, basically push him by one man at a time, versus, uh, you know, quite a um, determined resistance there. Scrublington there, I think that has to be nicely capped. But blew up on two, now that's the thing. 2-0, Red is going to have to go on the defensive quite hard. Now having a look around their base. Now, first thing I'm seeing, well, straight away, there's already another scout in there. Actually, I think Blue have invaded pretty much Red Base entirely. I mean, what is happening here? Was there a teleport or anything? Nope, it's just there in there. One thing about 2-4 is it's so very hard to know if somebody's in your base or not. And there goes GTGB. I have to say, nicely done. Only on 2 health and just managed to get through that. Oh, <laughs> no Bursey killer there, just stun ball to death, nice. However, that is the winning cap and Chaos Theory is going to cap it. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. I mean, lovely work there by, you know, no Mercy killer. I actually managed to get the intel off uh, Blue, but unfortunately, you know, Blue don't need to defend, they've all got two caps up. They just need to win this game. And there it is, done. Uh, my YouTube channel, um, TF2 Public Fair, I'll handle that stuff out at the end if that's okay. Now, in any case, round two. Teams are a little bit more equalised this time, but let's have a look and see what's going on. Both teams, healthy uses of scouts, quite a few snipes on either team. Blue have it balanced looking. Might be the reason why they've got a bit more of a hand up there. Oh, 
Ah, Paulito there. Classic te uh, sentry placement. That is, is good in that one there. Now that will ho honker down red defenses quite easily. Personally, this is one of the reasons I don't really tend to favour this map, partially because of that particular doorway. You whack a sentry there and that's it, you're done. Now Freltic, Swig, Askew there. Trying to move up against the heavy. Nice bit of, you know, just general firework against the heavy, but, you know. Assisted. There goes Coilium there. Doesn't see Chaos Theory. Um, yeah, it tries to get out of dodge. Now, for the time being, it is 0 to 0. One of the big problems trying to commentate 2-4 um, is it's incredibly hard to do so. Very long map. Very underground map. It's very hard to actually get a grasp of what's going on at any particular time. Now, one thing I have seen so far is that... Whoa, what's happened there? There's Womi. Size for a one-man uber charge. Not advised. And that kind of went off miserably. It's usually advised you pick up somebody else to go with the uber. But, you know, good going, though. You know, he's got an uber gun. Now, one thing I didn't find ultimately two for is it's a really tricky map in terms of actually kind of, you know, getting in there properly. What you might want to do is try and get an engineer in there with a teleporter. You know, there's plenty of nooks and crannies in that red base, in either base. So if you can get an engineer in there, it's have an exit teleporter, that'll make things real easy. The front door is so hard to get through in this game. You know, you got, you got too many good snipers in this game, you can really slow the game down. For the time being, though, just like Blue have been slowed there, nicely moving up. Okay, Wormy's decided, you know, this time, better go with some guys. It's a good idea. As you can see, we... Oh, what's that there? Wayne there. Oh, nice work with the flamethrower. Using the slight burn around the action. Action. So actually, you better get first sentry. You've got to be careful of those placements. I mean, the other thing is, actually, if you use those um, flamethrowers on the start gates of Dust Bowl, Gold Rush, and perhaps this, if you can, you can actually burn through the gates before the game starts. So, handy hint there. Now, straight away, Blue's got the intel. Now, this is not looking good, because they've, they've generally invaded Red Base. Bloom, one man resisting against an entire team. On fire, under health. Doing nicely, actually. He's doing pretty okay for one man team. Takes up Medic. Scrublington. And that was some good work there from Bloom. Actually, he managed to hold out against three enemy teammates. That was pretty good. And he's still alive. Now, actually, now here's something very something to consider. Red's intel is just sitting there. Um, they, they haven't thought to pick it up yet, or just you know defend it or anything. I mean, seriously, that's right in the open there. And <laughs> oh, what a steal! Refreshes that, but that's right on display for everyone to see. And, oh, Swig, Swig there, nicely moves away, dies on impact, but it's got that to be a blue base. That was a nice bit of jump work, that. That's kind of partially what this particular game is about, actually. If you can just keep that intel moving, it's half the game on this. Now, better be hard-pressed to defend that intel. Partially goes on blue side, and it's ticking away, though, half done. Nooblington there, it's a heavy. Nice work. Fattest man in team decides to carry the intel. It's a ballsy move. But there he goes, he's got the gloves running urgently. Nice gloves, I do love those gloves actually. They do make heavies a little bit more surprising. But that's going to get capped, that's going to blew the 1-0 one, one lead. Let's have a look at the team balance, see what's going on. Well, teams are a little low, 9-8 to eight players. And yes, I think it is favouring blue at the moment. Perhaps you guys can get a vote menu in to, you know, scramble the teams or whatnot. And there it goes. I'll put a yes on that, because to be fair, teams are a little unbalanced. I wouldn't say excessively, 
but unbalanced at least. Okay, look at blue attacking back. We've seen a lot of them move up at the same time here. That's the thing in this game. This game really relies on teams actually coordinating and moving as a group. Single teammates, except me for scouts, just don't tend to work in this. You can't really counter everything. Scrubbington. Heavy with a Thomas Lava. I'm seeing a lot of Thomas Lava uses in this game particularly. I'm not sure why. Personally, I think it's been over-nerfed. Uh, compared to what it was, it was an excellent um, minigun. Uh, back in the day, when you had 40% spin-up reduction, it was amazing good. But that was the problem. It was too good. Before that, it was 70% spin-up reduction. Oh my. Now, Wayne there. Good player. Oh, not good enough to dodge a rocket, though. Yes. Blue, nice sentry up there. I mean, Philo, 2212 there. Nice position, actually. I think... Judgment, yes. He's got all the right ranges there, actually. One of the important things for an engineer to consider is actually, is your sentry out range? Uh, in which case, it isn't really that much. The other thing I want to consider is actually turning radius. Um, the thing is... Those precious sec that precious half second or half second where the sentry got a turn could be its last second. You need to make sure it's facing the right way. Now for the time being, this has gone on red side. I mean, red are trying. You know, red have been on the attack lately, but have blue tried anything yet? Well, from a quick glance, can't see much in the enemy base. Although swag there, it's moving in. Oh no, he's got urine. And this, oh, that's a nice, that's an old, old user dispenser right there. A lot of players back in the day when I used to start playing play this game used to put that dispenser there. Really good, annoy those scouts. Oh, swag there, mercilessly shot off the ridge. Red is still pretty much got the upper hand in this game for what I can see. Won't be there, asking for medics help. There is water underneath you, by the way. Uh, that will put out fire. And that's the other thing. Uh, two people on the rare maps with water. Uh, so many of them don't use them nowadays. Try to get the Plan B achievement for Pyro. Oh, God, have mercy on your soul. It does look like the game has equalised out somewhat. I mean, Red are beginning to make forays into the enemy base. However, there is that problem. GGTHB that thought he could take on a sentry. Not easy with soldier. Um, you could try playing heavy, shoot from underneath. Also, pyro would work from that range. Uh, but soldier, now that's the problem. People think soldiers can lay down damage. Um, they really can't. They're, they're pretty good at dealing specialist damage here and there, but they can't lay down sheer amounts of damage, like a down man or heavy. Or even a pyro for that matter. That's why if you do want to go up against the sentry and you want to do with somebody, maybe not the soldier. Unless, and especially not if you've got a three clip uh, rocket launcher. Oh, Polito, that was the worst time to go back to base. That was a nice... Oh, Chaos Theory. What a, what a hero. He actually uses the home wrecker. It's really, really rare to see that nowadays. But yeah, now that sentry is staying up. Just about. No, it's not. To be fair, now that was the exact thing I was saying. It was out of range. Uh, basically, you get a sniper or a good down man on that, and it'd go down in seconds simply because it couldn't fire back at them. Now, the game has entered somewhat of a stalemate for the time being. Red have managed to, you know, get back in this game. Grubbington there. Must be using the Spicicle. Oh, what's going on here? I think there's some movement. It's looking good. It's Wayne. Now he's got to be careful. 
Nice. Use the side entrance. Can he get down? Excellent work. Just moves it up. Gets out of there. Man, that is one desperate engineer. Philo. Lovely work. I love aggro engineers. He really, really tried to get back to that intel. Ran past the sniper and everything. But anyway, where is that? Yeah, that's pretty much in their base now. That's going to be 2-0 to Blue there. Blue need to try harder, but now the problem is is that they're going to be stuck firmly on the defensive. 2-0 down. One more cap and that's it. Game over. Um, Wayne, what are you doing? Dude, you have the intel. Yeah, you better put that back home. Well, okay, now that the pirate being properly informed where he's supposed to go with the intel. Um, now, what are Blue up to? They need to get some sort of defensive solution going. Now, I think Philo's sentry did go down, and that was that's the problem. If you're relying on an engineer for the entire defense, and that keystone goes down, that's it, you're screwed. Oh. Oh, yeah, now trying to get that sentry. Now, that's the thing. If they're getting canny like he has, he's put it back a little bit. Now, what you might want to do is actually get a medic in there. Now, medic, in my opinion, the Uber medic is the ultimate strategy in the game. Barely anything beats it. Yes, you can say Pyro's beat it. But they're not always around. And especially if the opponent plays heavy, that's it. You've got no chance against it. You've got to hope sheer sentry power or firepower is going to push them back. Ooh, look at one. Oh, actually, I think I may have got my colours wrong here. But uh, red, blue, red. Who was the first scorer? I can't remember. Anyway, teams are equal now. Here's me getting my colours wrong. In any case, blue have got their nice defences going. And what's happening over red base? Is anything happening over here? Well, for the time being, there isn't much from the looks of it. Now it looks all pretty silent over here. I think all the action's in blue base for the time being. Now that is an interesting sentry. Um, what's your name? Seth Nijim Sneff Nijimaya. I I'm sorry if I can't pronounce your name properly. Um, it's an interesting sentry placement, actually. That should work really well. Get a tell up with that, and that'll be an excellent little spot. But the thing I like with that is, that's, you know, it's in an outdoor environment, but it's really got its ranges correct. That's going to be a hard uh, sentry to counter. Oh, now that was now Gertie there saved that sentry. Now he did what I would consider to be a bit of a um, cardinal sin, which is actually um, moving the sentry at the wrong time. He had actually a really good location there. I don't know why he moved it up. Now what we are seeing is we're seeing a general Maginot line effect. Basically, two walls of team trying to move up. Wayne there. Oh, can he do it? Can he do it? Nope. He saw the lovely demo man, decided to go after him, but... Oh, that was lovely teamwork there. One guy actually disabled the sentry. He went to move up and try and burn it, but he didn't have enough strong in him to actually take it out. Now, if he was a heavy, different case, he would have had that down in two seconds. But Blue, yep, yeah, this is looking very stalemate at the moment. As I said, this is going to require, really, a medic to get through. Ideally, what you want to be able to do is get into the enemy base and stay there. If you can stay in there and destabilize them for the entire time while capping the intel, great. That's exactly what you need to be doing. Very hard to do that, though. Paulito. Making that work. Oh, what's going on here? Some action in the blue base. Get your sapper out already! Now that, I don't know what happened there. Um, saw the spy come up the stairs. I thought this this was a dead cert. But for some reason the spy went up the stairs, tried to shoot it. I mean, you can do that. But that would have been... I don't know how the sapper got removed. 
They blocked the normal sapper? Okay, that that's odd. Uh, to be fair, I was playing in a um, other server and I managed to get the sapper out. Maybe your queue's a bit stuck on something. That was weird. I mean, that should have been an easy move through. Although, you had to, you know, contend with other stuff. Oh, Krautic there. I'm sensing some sniper work. Um. There goes an Uber. And Wayne's in there burning everything like a pyromaniac should. This is looking good. Red, I've got a breakthrough now. I don't know what happened. Uh, Wayne into, went to Pyro Rage and decided to burn everything in sight. Ooh, he's using Reflex. Hasn't got his Reflex entirely down yet. Nice bit of work there. Clears out the sentries, but there was just nobody there to support him. Pity, really, because actually that was a good little run. Oh, what's happening here? It does look like one of the uh, nice GTHDB took a took a um, took the intel there, but he's not capping it. Maybe he should, but no, he's not. Back to the game. Now Paulito there taking on um Scout, then find Swag. But red team are really moving up. This is what I'm saying. If they can get a teleporter in this base somewhere, especially up the back end, that'd be great. Oh, what's this? Scrublington there. Um, Zeppelin Mayer there. Nice. Eventually gets the, s the cat sap on. Sackman there just can't seem to hit this spy. Nice work there. And Wayne goes in for the last bit of kill there. Nicely done. Now, where is the intel? It doesn't seem to be getting capped at all. Nope, he is just standing there. That is a problem. Oh, nope, he has finally capped, and there it goes. Who's that soldier? Now, nah, that was a piece. That soldier was using a direct hit there. Went to take up the sentry. Inadvertently, engineer gets in the way, which is rather annoying. Now, red. 2 1 up. This is put blue on the defensive. The thing is, blue have been defending reasonably well. They've been putting sentries up. Um, they haven't really played an offensive game yet. To be fair, that they had the chance of one at one to one, but they've been concentrating on the defense a lot more than they have attack. Now they do need to get somebody in there to shake things up a little, because all the time you're on one two and defending. You're not actually going to win the game. You need to be able to actually cap in there. Okay, there's a. Who is that? Soldier, e soldiers are trying to break into the blue base there. It's almost if Philo's sentry there is pretty much the only thing stopping red team right now. And I think blue team have finally, you know, I've learned that and are sticking around it, but very defensive. They need to get at least a scout or a spy in there and try and get that thing pulled back. Very difficult game, CTF, and especially on this map. Oh, hang on. So it's on. Yep, it's a GDTHB again. And he's not moving. Okay, there's really not much going on. Has there been a disconnect in the server? No, there's actually stuff going on. Now, for the time being, it does seem as if Blue aren't paying too much attention to what is entirely going on. Okay, unusual antics going on over here.
And GGTHB there. Um, I think he was trying to play it smart and take out the first resistance, but it was a soldier and not easily clobberable. Now, to be fair, it does show a weakness in the enemy system here. Oh, Wayne there trying to get actually get in that base, but he can't seem to get around that demo man. He was about to back up, but they blew him off the side and just, oh, I can't reverse him now. Ooh, nice pirate there from Bloom just completely takes on that pet from behind. As I said, this is, there's a real problem going in alone. I mean, he was playing heavy, but he just way this match way too easily surroundable. Now, from the looks of it. Again, game is really still kind of a bit, a bit stale for the time being. Although there is some action brewing in blue base. Bloom there. Yeah, get out of dodge. Now there's way too much resistance there. Now one strat that might be an idea for the up and coming scout. Uh, with the new creation of the soda popper with the times five jump and the winger now being made so you can jump higher you might want to try actually jumping through the gap in the main hallway, you know the one, from the ceiling if you actually jump up that you completely bypass uh, the main w w main ways in so that sentry won't really be bothering you, all you've got to do is now get around the rest of the side of it and you know, you're going to cause a bit more of a headache also if you can jump through that, rocket jump through that gap, that would be really good Or demo jump, sticky jump, whatever. Now, for the time being, this is looking like Red's game. They're just not pushing, though. Action seems a little bit lackluster for the time being. Wayne there, fighting a one man war. And losing. Oh, what happened there? Was, there sp was it spied? Was it destroyed? Newbington there. I think that was a wise choice to get out of there. Not the greatest time to spy. Things aren't in situ. People are move moving around shooting and stuff. Lobster cat. Oh, trying to get in there. There's a lot of red in there at the moment. They are almost spawn camping. Bloom that just doesn't see Philo 2212. Oh, and stabbed. I don't know why people are trying to go for the spawn. You do need to keep go for that intel. And speak of the devil. There it goes. And Victor Van Hyde there. It's a sniper? A sniper is camping? What is happening today? Okay, nobody's in the way. I mean, this guy is literally just running through. Throws piss because you can. Run, you crazy bastard. He is literally having to dodge everything here. And he, this is not his job role. And I think that's in. I think it's looking like a red victory from here on in. It's going to take some miracle spy work to stop this from winning. this guy winning the game. But no, I don't think Blue have anything left in the tank. And it's the last stretch. Game win there. Lovely work. Nice captain from Victor Von Hyde, actually. You still don't ever see snipers actually come up to play.